Hey there, this is Kamal, and in this video, we're going to see how to install Dlib onto your Windows system. So, let's get this started. Alright, so before going further, I'm assuming that the reason why you're here is because of the fact that you're not able to install Dlib onto your Windows system and it's showing some errors on the command line. So the reason why that's happening is because Dlib is a C++ library and if you want to use it on a Windows system, you have to first have a compiler which is a C++ compiler on the system and also have CMake and some build tools regarding the C++. So there's actually two ways of installing Dlib onto your system. The first one is to install CMake and a compiler which is Visual Studio for Windows. That's a C++ compiler and it also comes with the build tools options to install them. So you have to install both of those and you have to do a bit of configuration so that both of them can work alongside each other and we can use them to compile the C++ library that is Dlib and use it on your projects. The second way is to use Anaconda which is much easier process compared to this. So in this video we're going to see how to install Dlib onto your Windows system using Anaconda. Alright so open your browser and search for Anaconda individual edition. Then click on the first link. Okay so this is the website so now click on download and that is going to scroll down to the download versions that they have. So I'm going to click on the 64-bit graphic installer for Python 3.7. So if you have 2.7, you can go for the 2.7 version as well. So I'm going to click on the 3.7 version. Once that is downloaded, click on the downloaded icon and this should pop up. Here, click on next, then click on agree. So if you want, you can install this for single user or for all the users present on your system. I'm going to leave it as it is and click on next. And then you can select the location where you want to install Anaconda. Then click on next. Now you can select whether you want to add Anaconda to the path by default or not and if you check that then the node becomes red and it's showing that this is not a recommended option. My recommendation is that if you're installing Anaconda for the first time on your system and you don't have Python installed beforehand then check this option. If not leave it as it is then click on install and that is going to install it onto your system. I'm not going to do that as I've already installed this on my system so I'm going to click on cancel. So once you're done installing that open your search bar and search for Anaconda and open the Anaconda Navigator. Okay, so this is the Anaconda Navigator. From here, click on the launch button for PowerShell prompt. So now we have to create a virtual environment in which you can work on. So the command for creating a virtual environment using Anaconda is something like this. So here Conda is the package manager for Python, which is given by Anaconda. It is similar to pip that we generally use and the command is create, which is a new virtual environment and varenv is the folder name that I'm giving for my virtual environment. So then click on enter. Then type in y and press enter. And it's showing that the virtual environment has been created and to activate it you have to type this command. So I'm going to copy this command and paste it here. So as you can see here we are currently inside the virtual environment. So now you can install the packages that you want. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install dlib into my virtual environment. And the command for installing dlib using conda is something like this. So the command is this, it's going to be conda install hyphen c then conda hyphen forge and dlib. So once you have this click on enter. Then type in y and click on enter again. So it's showing that everything is done. So to check whether dlib is installed correctly or not, what you can do is that you can type python. Then I'm going to type in import dlib and click on enter. And as you can see here, there's no error showing that the library cannot be installed. That means the library has been installed correctly into your virtual environment. So now you can go to any other projects that require dlib and you can execute them without getting any errors. So now if you want to exit out of the virtual environment, you have to type in conda deactivate. And that is going to exit us out of the virtual environment. So one thing you have to keep in mind is that unlike the virtual environments that we create using pip, where the virtual environment folder is directly placed into the project structure. Here, all the virtual environments that are created using the conda are saved inside a separate folder under environment section somewhere inside your local disk. So if you create a new virtual environment, you have to make sure that all the virtual environments are unique. So if you create a virtual environment which you had created earlier, like if you give the same name, that means you're essentially overwriting the previous created virtual environment. So that's it for this video guys. If you have liked what I've seen till now, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.